Good afternoon everybody. Okay, quick catch up on the uh, Jenny Belly card swap thingy I was doing yesterday. Um, I cut, I'll show you the back because it's less shiny. So I cut the um, shape. I used a tea plate, that was fine. Um, there was a couple of white spots so I just filled that in. If you can see I've just done some doodling around the shapes. Okay, so that's the back. And then the front, sorry, the light might catch there. So I cut out a heart. Uh, just stuck some acetate at the back there. Stuck the bit that I cut out there. So I thought that looked really effective because we're meant to be sending love and hugs to everybody. So out of the same acetate, I cut another heart shape, slightly smaller than this one. And then just put, you know, a fluffy thing here, basically. Um, and because it won't stand up that way that way <laughs> I can't even show you right that way it won't stand on its side I'm just gonna leave it as a rocking card so I thought that was quite good fun actually so yeah it might make somebody smile so we'll see I might have to yeah okay yeah I'll leave it like I say this is um pulling it over to the side but that's okay no they're staying straight now so yeah I thought that was quite good fun. So around the inside, I'm going to write a motivational quote around there. So I think that'll look good. I think it's, I, I'm really pleased with it, actually, I've got to say. And I'm really glad that it's kind of done that because I really like it as a rocking card. So it's still kind of circular-ish. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the card. And then for the... What do we have to do? Circle embellishments. I just punched out a load of the ones that we gel printed. And then I just, <coughs> excuse me, I just typed up, copied a load of inspirational quotes uh, there. And I've just layered them up on bowl pins. Now, the interesting thing is um, I've got a inkjet printer. And what I was going to do was um, collage them straight onto... The back of the cards basically where it was white but um i knew it would i knew the ink would run if i did that so i laminated it and then i realized i'd printed it all on white paper and it just stuck out like a sore thumb so i got my um, alcohol inks the ranger ones and i just dabbed on color so it's just taken away the white it's pink but i've only got pink and purple in those so it was you know choice of two um that piece of card there is what i used to mask this when i was inking around so i thought i'm not going to waste it i'll put it on there so yeah i've just um i'll just flick through these quickly we're going to do some marbling so that's got the acetate heart on it as well and that's another one with an acetate heart just swing in there I put bold pins on some of them. These I just thought, you know, I don't know if the lady's into art journaling that I'm swapping with. Um, and then she can just stick these in if she wants to. So yeah, I'll just quickly flick through. I think you can see them. That's a hanging one. And that's got a an acetate heart here. A laminated circle. And then two of the bigger circles. And then quote in the middle I can and I will so sort of hidden quotes you know hidden hidden messages some of them this one and then the last one okay and I just searched I did a google search motivational quotes I think it was so so there we are. There's quite a lot, quite a nice little stack of goodies to go in with her parcels. That's lovely. So all I need to do now is the letter. I just I say I need to, I might sort of follow the heart round and do a quote going around that way. I'm not going to bother about covering up that. It's fine. It's acetate. It's yeah, it's fine. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. As I say, I did the same again, did some doodling on the front here. Doodled around the heart. Very simple lines and do a squiggle every now and again. And then picked out the shapes that we did with the uh, base of the cream cake. Yeah, so there we are. Happy, happy. I hope you like it. Right, okay, let me clear that out of the way. And you're going to get the light again, I'm afraid. So, yeah, ring light. But if I don't, it's such a... Let me just show you the difference. See? 
it's really dark isn't it let's see how we go if that gets super annoying i might swap it over right okay now this is the um the size the the thickening stuff i'm using i'm really liking this because it only takes two hours uh the carrageegan the um uh seaweed based one you have to make it up 24 hours before and then you have to use it quite quickly etc etc so and i don't do this that often i guess if you're a pro and you're doing it every day yes that would make sense but um just trying to get this in the best position for you there we are now the other thing i've forgotten to do is um i used um alum I soaked all the fabric and card and paper that I used last time in alum. I haven't done it this time. However, I'm thinking I'm using uh, fabric paints. I'm going to, I've never tried this. I'm going to experiment. I've got, I'm going to show you because this is a bit ridiculous. But, right, all of these, they're all fabric paints. Different brands. I've got Dylon, I've got Deco Art. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's bonkers, right. So the first ones I'm going to try are these Lumiere ones. Now, they sound fairly liquid. I don't know if I'm going to have to water these down. If I do, I've got my little squirty bottles still. I bought a great big bag of them, I think I showed you last time. But yeah, I bought um, a big bag of them. Because, you know, I thought they'd come in handy for all sorts. Um... If I do need to water them, oh, jeez. <laughs> I knew I was going to do that. How did I know? I, I just knew it. Okay, we'll stand you there for a minute. Oh, lordy. Um, that's a good start. These are all metallics. Yes, they're all metallics, I think. So it's these. Let me hold them steady for you and you can see what they are in case you feel like you want to do them. Come on, you're going to focus. No. Okay. Right. The Lumiere uh, by Jacquard. I don't know where I bought them. I bought them ages ago. Um, I went through a stage of doing. So I've got all sorts of colours. I've got white, pearl white, uh, metallic olive, um, super copper. If I hold it there, will it focus there? Yeah, there we are. Lumiere by Jacquard. I was a bit too close, I think. Yeah, it's struggling there. Right, okay. Uh, metallic gold. Oh, I did those. Uh, pearl blue and pearl oh. violet. So, like I say, if they're not watery enough, we'll give it a bash. And if they're not watery enough, we'll... <laughs> that one's all soggy. Hang on. Grab a baby wipe. I just knew I was going to do that. I knew, knew, knew. Oh, another little bit of housekeeping. Um, I was talking to you yesterday about that lady in uh, Positano in Italy. I thought it was the Positano Diaries. There was the YouTube name, but it's not. It's under her name. Well, she's not called Positano at the end. She's Nikki something else, actually. But um, that's what she... If you want to look for her on YouTube, you need to search her for that. But as I say, it, it's interesting. I Yeah, it's a lifestyle thing, I guess. And... I think part of her mission is to advertise the area. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so, right, okay. That's cleared up all the gloop off that. Right, let's give these a go and see if they work. So I've got various fabric. I've got some um, thin cotton, thin white cotton. I'll just show it in the corner here. And then I've got some slightly heavier creamy colour. So I've got a pile of it. And the other thing I'm going to have a go at is printing on pre-printed fabrics. I've no idea if it'll work. So. Mad scientist is at it again. <laughs> Zero. Oh, and whilst I was in Ikea last weekend, I picked up this kid's pack of paintbrushes. Because I, well, they're like three quid. I thought that would be ideal for collaging, the big ones. And then these will be, hopefully, good for this. Oh, who knows? I've got a big bucket of water at the end of the thing. <laughs> so um, here's sloshing. That's what it is. I've got a load of fluff in here. I'm not going to worry too much. I just want to see if these will work. If not, as I say, I'll... No. 
they are not spreading at all <laughs> oh it's going to be one of those videos people i hope you're ready right, i've got these ones i don't know if they're even oh no they're even thicker okay right i might need to go off air for a minute and just this is the uh deco art ones see they're not even open aren't i bad Yeah, it's completely sunk. If this fails, I've got the other paints on hand, so that's fine. We'll just go to that. I don't think these are watery enough. No. Okay, I'm going to go and water down those Lumiere ones and see how we get on with that. If it's no good, we'll switch to the other ones. I'm going to pause you. Back in a sec. I thought I'd show you what I'm doing, actually, because... Um, yeah, so what I've done is I've put about a centimetre of the actual um, paint in here, in the little bottles... And what I'm going to do, I've got a, just a thing of water here. I'm going to almost fill them up with water. So it's almost to the top there, I don't know if you can see. Um, let me do let me do the water first. So I'm thinking I might need some of this ox gall stuff, which is it's meant to be the stuff that makes it liquid, I don't know. Makes it float, I should say. But as I say, if this is a disaster, we will um, go back to the other paints. Because at least we know they work. Just bog standard tap water. Um, living in the southwest, we've got incredibly soft water. And I know that does make a difference, actually. Apparently. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's got very few minerals in it. So, um, right. So that's the water. Let's put that somewhere safe, shall we, Susan? Because you know what you like. Complete and utter klutz most of the times. Okay. This handily just fits in here. Okay, you only need a few drops of this, so it doesn't it kind of smells like paint thinners. I don't know why it's called ox gall. Apparently it is from the gallbladder of an ox. Right. Putting about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know, seven drops ish. I don't know. Not one, two. I'm not one for measuring. <laughs> it might not even work, so we will find out. This could be a long one again, part guys, so uh, hope you don't mind the long ones. Let me know if you really just want them short ones, just let me know and I'll I'll chop them chop them down in size uh, yeah I'll just stop filming at certain points if that makes any sense whatsoever right I'm just going to try one let's see if it works if not we'll get the other paints out so. let's give it all a good shake shake it shake it shake it Put those over there hopefully safely whilst i drag stay uh goes in there okay let me drag the pond back in it's still it's gone right to the bottom i don't know if you can see it there spreading is it uh, cocktail sticks <clears throat> it's dropping but see these are metallic so they might be a little bit heavier okay well it's moving even though that has dropped Let's, um, 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 what am I looking for? A bit of paper or something. Um, where's that bit that I just threw away? Let's see if it'll lift. Okay, well that lifts. Hmm. 
Oh well, let's just, should we just give it a go? Let's just, just do it, just do it. Right, let me put all the little stoppers in these bottles because you know me, I'll just pick it up, chuck it in and I'll go, oh, yeah, oops. My jury's out on this Ox School stuff. I don't know if you need it or not. I've I've watched a couple of other people uh, doing the marbling and, you know, they make no mention of that. So, and it, it wasn't cheap. I think it was uh, £7, that little bottle. So if you don't necessarily need it, it could be an expense you don't need to go to. kind of just sitting there so and the other one weirdly I don't know if you can see it's starting to come up oh I don't know it's a science that I don't quite have sorted yet it's a bit like me uh, gel plate printing still very much a learner right nearly there one more sorry should have done this first Okay, um, should we see what we can do? It might still be a little bit thick, so maybe a little drop more water would be the way to go actually. But we are going to just be mad experimental people together here. So I see people do it with just bog standard acrylic paints, which if that if I could get that working, oh hello. <laughs> I've just managed to splash copper paint everywhere, right? Okay. Let's just go with the splatters. Why did that do that? You have a hole. Don't know. Okay, curious. Okay. You want to do it too, do you? Fine. We'll do what you want to do, shall we, paints? Um, and I'm going to put in some white. This is an opaque white. I have got a... I've got a pearl white, but I chose the opaque one because I thought that might make a good contrast with all of these um, metallic paints. Who knows? Uh, right, where's me? Uh, sorry. I forgot I cleaned up all me uh, scraping tools. Okay, let's um, let's just do it, shall we? You can only go wrong, can't it? It always looks watery in there. It's very 3D. I don't know if you're catching that bit there. It's kind of... Right. I think this is a polyester cotton I've got here. I don't think it's 100% cotton, but... Um, I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, well. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, eh? I didn't iron it or anything. That was a bit slack actually because that might affect the end result. Some air bubbles there I can see. 
I still haven't done anything with the other ones. I'm going to give them a wash actually because they still smell very oily from those um, paints. So um, when I make them into journals, which I must make loads of because I now have none. Well, I think I've got one left in my shop and that's a Christmas one. So that's not much good, is it? It didn't stick very much. It's like little fireworks. Yeah. Right, let's see if it just washes completely out. If it does, we'll just go back to... Okay, it's more or less completely washed out. Maybe the sizing does make a difference. I just thought with them being um, fabric paints, it wouldn't make that much difference. But clearly it does. I don't know whether to be really naughty and just dip the hole. I'm doing it. So there's a heck of a lot of paint at the bottom there. Because if nothing else, it can help clear all that out of the way. sticking at all is it <laughs> oh dear I bet you're glad you're with me <laughs> why wouldn't you stick maybe the sizing does make a difference uh, I'm just more or less doing this just to clean some of that thick paint out of there I'll go back on top in a minute with a bit of paper I think let's do it now scrappy paper here mm. doesn't even really take into the paper is it okay just sliding right off and that'll just wash off okay I'll leave that to settle I'll rinse this one out I guess thinking about it um sorry there we Sorry, I was just thinking, I guess thinking about it, um, it is the oil and the fact, you know, because if you use acrylic paints, they've got that plastic in them, haven't they? And uh, obviously the um, the uh, marbling paints have oil. Yeah, it hasn't taken at all. Okay, right, we'll put that one there as a failed experiment. Where should I put that? Let's put it in that little bowl of water. Okay. I don't know how this is going to affect the other ones. So the Lumiere paints don't work. But we won't waste that, what we've mixed there, because I shall do some fabric painting later on. All right, so... Um, I'm now covered in gunk. Right, I need to sacrifice a piece of this fabric to wipe my hands on. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to affect the other paints, so we'll carry on and see if it does. If it does, I will pause you again, make up a new batch, and we'll come back to that. But uh, I'll just carry on doing some... I think I want to do more papers this time. I did a load of fabric last time. And I'm thinking of making up some journals that are um, sort of... Well, based on marbled stuff, basically, so... We shall use the Hobbycraft card that I showed you yesterday. It's about 160 GSM. Let's give it a go, shall we? Right, I'm going to put the fabric to the side for now. So I've got quite a lot already. Um, so I don't think I need any more of that for a bit. 
Right, so this is those paints that I showed you last time. They're completely separated. This is why you need to give them a good shake. Let me show you. Yeah, see the oil and the, and the uh, pigment there. And that yellow one was a disaster last time, wasn't it? So I put it in little bottles, didn't I? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm, trying, I'm looking in my box here. I've got a... I've got my box of tricks here. And I remember I had the um I thinned out the da -da 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 -da, the Dayla Rowney no. Yeah, Dayla Rowney pearlescent inks, didn't I? Did they work? I can't remember. I'd have to go and get the fabrics. Right, let's give these a good shake and let's get printing. The other one I want to try is the um I'm gonna say this wrong, but I think it's called Sig uh Mashi. Which is the one where you dot in. I'll show you. Instead of talking about it, I'll show you. Right, okay. I think that's enough mixing. Now, I kept some scrap card here. There's an awful lot of bubbles in there. Pop a few of those. And pop. Okay, the surface actually looks quite clear, so let's give it a go. Right, um, okay, I'm going to do this again, whatever it's called. I need, ooh, I need a palette. Uh, where can I put this that you can see? Nowhere. Right, I'll, okay, the palette's here. I'm just going to put in some of the yellow ink and I think we'll go yellow and orange. I quite like that orange. It's a nice, it's a nice orange. Right, so what you have to do is have two brushes. I'm going to try these Ikea ones. I don't know if they're any good. Um, if I turn it, right, I'm going to pause you. I'm going to clear the decks a bit because it's a tip behind here and I'm going to turn the tray that way and you might be able to see what I'm up to. Back in two ticks. I can find the pause button again. Uh, I'm too short. Back in a sec. Right, clear the decks. <laughs> I'm hoping having the tray over this side, it keeps the ring light out of it. So anyway, there we are. So there's the palette there. Right, I need to sit down for this bit because you have to rest your elbows. So what you do is you dip your Dip your brush. I'm hoping you're going to see it through this mud that I've got in this tray now. I'll start it over there. Great. So you dip, dip, dip. Okay, you haven't soaked up enough, have you? They're brand new. I think I should have put them in water first, but anyway. Dip. It's fine, it's just doing its thing there, so I'm just leaving it to... And basically, you build the rings up. That's what the idea is. What the heck is that? Okay. Oh, why doesn't anything ever go right? <laughs> you watch people do it, it's like, oh yeah, that looks easy. Yeah, right. Just need to let the paint drip down, I think. It is working, it's it's going, but these brushes are not holding the water. Uh the paint rather. Okay, I might have to get some different brushes. It's my fault. I didn't wash them out first. They've got like the, I don't know, I don't know what they put in it really. I guess it's like a glue stuff. Okay. I don't even know if you'll see in that. Yeah, you are kind of. Oops. Oh, 
really easy with a blooming dropper. I've got one. Anyway, you get the idea. You just keep dropping it and it, it makes its own little circles. And the longer you hold it in, it spreads the circle out. And the other thing you can do is drop some of this stuff in. Which apparently makes it shoot over. Of course it's not working for you, Susan. Why do you actually think that things are going to work for you? Okay, so I'm just going to, sorry if I'm blocking your view. I'll move you back here. It's called a brew painting or something. There are some amazing artists out in YouTube land. If you ever think you want to have a go at this, I urge you to go and watch them. <laughs> okay, that's kind of pretty. If we can get that to spread, you know, shoot like that. Let's give it a dark centre. I don't know. This might not work. This is just to drop them from the bottles, hey? Trouble is, these ones have got really big holes on them, so. Woo, don't juggle. It's because I'm leaning on the nerve in my arm. It's going giggle, giggle, giggle. There we are, this is better. annoying bubble right in the middle there, see if we can get rid of it. Get away. Thank you. <laughs> Lean on me nerve. Ooh. You see what I'm doing? Yeah, you are vaguely, aren't you? Right, I'll let that do its thing for a second. Get away, bubble. Oh, you're flipping annoying, go away. Pop. Not gonna have it, is it? Okay. Right, let's see if we can draw this one out as well, shall we? If I, if I put my hand there, are you singing? Not really, are you? Sorry, I'm right handed, so I can't. Um...
a weird creature. I don't know if you're seeing, it's picking up the orange around the outside of the green. Gone quiet, sorry. Not gone deaf. <laughs> I'm in play mode. I should do this on my own, really, but I think some of you quite enjoy watching it. Should do good. Looks like something from Alien, doesn't it? Um, should we try some more yellow in the middle just to lighten up that middle a bit? Sorry, I can't not have my hand in the way. That's five drops. Because it's got all that space to expand so it shouldn't it shouldn't have a problem. Sorry, noisy neighbours. Five drops of each going in there. That's the dark green. Um, I might just go in with the black, actually. Never, oh, yeah, I did get a white, didn't I? It's could completely muck it up, but let's have a look. Interesting. Why are you doing that? <laughs> You're the proper stuff. Right, sorry, I can't not have my hands in the way. The deeper you go, the more you can drag it out. I want to try and get a whole A4 sheets worth. I need some more up here, so let's just drop some more covers up here and see what that does to it all.
you're seeing it out there, are you? No, you're not. Let me just see if I can move this down without wiggling everything. There we are. Okay. I'm just going to faff around up here. Because I say I want to try and get a whole A4 sheet print printed if I can. I think I've ruined this bath. This is all sinking. I might need to stop and come back later and do some more. I shouldn't have used those fabric paints. I think that's kind of see that that there is all sinking. I don't know why. That's interesting. It's made dots, and if I pull the thing through the dots, it's making those little weird lines. Right, okay. Just join this all up. Drop the fireworks. I think I'll stop there because I think I need to get a fresh. All that there is, um, it looks like it's gone under the surface. Right, let's see what we get, eh? And then I'll let you go and I'll go and do a fresh bath and then we'll come back later and do some more if you can stand it. Classic. <laughs> How many sheets? It's better. I thought crappy that's not sinking through. That's why. I had two sheets. Okay. Oop. Okay. Different. See, I didn't even see that that orange was spreading like that. Right, let me just give it a quick rinse and I'll show you the finished article. Right, well, that's a bit funky. Okay, I'm going to play with some that some more. See, even, uh, yeah, it did. Yeah, that was the one. Yeah, see, it was kind of sinking into the bath. The I don't know if you can see, it's all gone like smudgy here. So what I'll do, I think I'll stop here for this. Um, go away, clean this out. Maybe make a fresh bath, I think. Um, I don't know. Yeah, um, I'll come back anyway. So uh, and now I need to get a clean hand to be able to turn the camera off. Right, bear with me. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I was going to do some more and then I'll show you the results. I'll, I'll maybe come on again later. Um, again, I've got another couple of projects I need to get done today. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Bye-bye.